When we die, what remains of us is merged with the earth. When someone we love dies, a piece of us dies with them. Learning to dance with grief is learning to dance with life, which is learning to dance with death. And so I buried myself in mud and leaves and rain integrating myself with the October earth, trying to become one with the past, with the ground, taking the peaceful ease of death without the death itself. A year ago, one of my best friends left this world for a new realm where our hearts crossed was where I was most myself. I lost her, but I also lost myself in losing her. The last year has been a surreal dream. Evolutionary psychologists say humans are more resilient than we know. There were days where I was consumed by darkness, buried in the landslide of grief, not sure that I would make it to 24. The day before my 23rd birthday, I found out my friend had died. I spent the next day unable to leave my bed, wishing I was with her. This year, I'm throwing myself a party. We must celebrate life, as impossible and painful as it can be. We must live for the people we love. We must hold them close. Gradually, 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 I started to want to live again. To wash the heavy, heavy grief from my being. To feel the breeze, the October waves. Some days my rain boots fill with water. Some days I trip and my knees hold a rainbow of bruises. I have made a quiet commitment to myself to remain among the living, despite the atrocities, the endless loops of suffering. Siddhartha founded Buddhism with the foundation of a broken heart and a broken faith. I catch micro glimpses of an egoless plane in meditation. The word nirvana means to extinguish. You can extinguish the self without dying. You can live between a self-obsession and a negation of the self as a corporeal entity. You can find peace among everything. Stay alive. Feel your breath inside your body. You are loved. You are whole. You are worthy. Make a quiet commitment to yourself to remain among the living. It is the kindest, most brave, and most wonderful thing that you can do.
sending love to you all.